Hey guys, Jared back. So I've got a really neat ROM to show you guys today. This one is called GNOME ROM and um, it's actually Android 4.3, stock Android 4.3 with little to no customizations at all. Well, as far as customizations goes, there's none. Optimizations, there's a couple of ones under the hood. Of course, you can always read up on that on the uh, thread, but there's maybe three or four optimizations. So you're probably wondering, well, why the hell would I want to download and flash this then? Um, well, what's interesting about this is that the developer actually, and you'll notice here it says exposed framework here in settings, the developer actually wanted to provide everybody with um, the option to actually uh, create their own custom ROM, really. I mean, that's that's basically the whole premise of this. So you'll notice we've got uh, exposed installer and of course with that exposed framework. So once you flash the ROM and you get in here, you're going to want to click on install. And once you've installed it, go ahead and click on reboot. Once your device is fully rebooted, then the fun really begins because then we can come down here and jump into download and we can, we've got a whole bunch of different modules. Now, those of you that are unfamiliar with exposed, which I'm sure there aren't too many of you out there, but for those of you that aren't familiar with exposed, um, this is basically, um, customizations, modifications, and hacks from many different developers and ROMs and things like that that you can actually install on an individual basis, which is really, really cool. And as you can see, paying attention to the sidebar here, um, we've got a lot of uh, customizations and modules to install. So let's go ahead and install a couple of them. So uh, first things first, with Android 4.3, the power menu is obviously lacking. Those of us phone modders, you know what I'm talking about. You need your recovery, uh, boot into recovery option. We love our reboot options, but um, Google deems that unimportant in terms of at least reboot options. So that's a pain in the butt. So how do we get that? Well, you'll notice that we've got advanced power menu here. Now it gives you a bit of a description on what the actual module consist of go ahead and click on it and that expands um, further description and we scroll on down here and you'll notice we actually have a little download button so we go ahead and click on download this takes a few seconds you can see 402 kilobytes the majority I haven't found one um, yet that is over a megabyte um, that said uh, you may want to, although it will prompt you if you haven't done this yet, while you're installing a module, you might want to go into security and then check uh, check unknown sources just to make sure everything goes by smoothly. So we'll go ahead and click on done and we'll click back. We click back again, you know, so we've got modules here. So we click on modules and this is actually where all of those modules get downloaded to. So how do we activate the modules? Well, first things first, you're going to want to check it and that activates it. And to activate it, you have to reboot the device. But what I like to do before I reboot the device is I like to check out the settings in here. There might be some settings that I want to um, mess around with before I actually end up activating it. So um, everything in here is just fine. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is, you know, because we don't actually have um, the reboot option yet, I'm going to have to manually reboot my phone. So we'll be back in just a second once the phone's fully booted up. And just in case you guys are curious, this is what the boot animation looks like. Kind of interesting. Alrighty, so once your phone's booted up, you're going to want to give it a moment, um, at least a few moments, for everything, for the entire system to, com to be completely booted up. Uh, if you were to try it out right away, you probably wouldn't notice anything. So now it's probably booted up fully. We're going to go ahead and long press on the power button, and lo and behold, we've got the advanced power menu. And furthermore, we go ahead and click on reboot, and you've got reboot, soft reboot, recovery, and of course, bootloader mode. So that's awesome. So what else can we do? Well, let's go ahead and take a look-see. Scroll on back down to it exposed framework and again we're going to be adding some more customizations now so let me go ahead and find something that I find interesting all right here we've got network speed indicator this one looks cool so what this is supposed to do is actually add my network speed uh, as an indicator in the status bar here so let's go ahead and click on download click on install apps install let's click on done we'll click back twice jump into modules Make sure that we have that activated. And now that we have our reboot menu, we can go ahead and actually reboot the device. Alrighty, and now that you can see the device is rebooted and up there in the status bar there, we've actually got our um, network speed. So that's awesome. And obviously if I had my SIM card popped in here and I was on data specifically, it would give me um, my network indicator uh, as far as what my data speeds are. So that's pretty cool. So that's basically the gist of it, guys. Um, it's basically a stock Android 4.3 um, clean slate for you to create your own customization and mods for. Um, you'll probably find, you know, as far as the ROM itself is concerned, it's as smooth and stable 
as Android 4.3 gets. Um, and you'll probably notice less bugs by creating your own, I'm going to put air quotes here, customized ROM or, you know, custom ROM, um, you know, when compared to things like AOKP or Payone on Android that have so many customizations, the ROMs these days are getting quite convoluted that, um, you know, a lot of them have conflicts with its own uh, issue, you know, with its own other customizations. You know, they fix one patch and it brings up four, or they fix one bug and it and it uh, uh, brings up 19 other bugs. Um, this isn't the case in this type of situation. You know, you're just picking and installing the customizations you want, so you don't have anything of what you don't want. Uh, anyways, I'm impressed with this, guys, and I would love to see this on more devices more often. Anyways, if you like the ROM, click that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos. And like I said before, I'll have the link to this ROM in the description down below. This is as easy as Android customizing gets. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.